Well, this is where I store my lumber, a bunch of it anyway, underneath the table. And I thought I'd do a quick cleanup before I start making one of these awesome bandsaw spaceships. I figured it'd take me a couple minutes. Um, I guess I have more than I thought. I have trouble throwing stuff away. <laughs> oh man, that's my organized lumber storage. So I'll send you a picture when it's done in 10 days. Well, I decided to throw some of it away. So here you go. This is all. <laughs> well, looks a little better under there. Not a hundred percent better, but at least it's more organized. The stuff's not going to fall out. And I picked out some wood for the bandsaw spacecraft that we're going to make. So we have some walnut pieces. This is a piece of maple. It's actually from my buddy Joe's floor. Second shout out to Joe. I have some cedar. I just really love that heartwood. Um, I have some maple. Some maple. And a little more walnut. And that piece of poplar, how'd that get in there? You can go away. I think that's gonna give us some nice contrast. Oh, and some oak right here. Nice thick piece of oak. So this book, Wooden Toy Spacecraft, and it's by Gonzalo Ferreira. We're gonna start with the first one, which is the Ice Fighter. I think that one looks cool. It's kind of Star Wars-esque, right? Okay. So I have the template copied here. Thank you to my wife. And we're gonna go through step-by-step. Step. It said to start with one piece, three-quarter, six-inch stock, and two thicker pieces of three-quarter, six-inch stock of contrasting color. The thicknesses can be so long as the total width comes out to one and a half inch. Okay, so they have maple and cherry. We're probably gonna use walnut and maple. All right, set my stop block to six inches. I've got my walnut and my maple, and I'm just gonna cut those. A couple of these weren't quite three quarters, so I'm gonna use a hand plane and shave it down to the line I marked there. Go to the next step. Well, that dries. We're gonna move on to the next step, which is the wings. So we need a piece that is four and three eighths by nine inches for both wings. I have some oak there. Let's see what I have. So I was still going through my stock and I had this piece, actually two pieces, the cedar that I glued up a while ago. I think the red's just gonna look cool. I don't know, I'm really in love with that. And it's just about the right dimensions already. So that's four and seven eighths and it's a half inch thick so i just need to plane that down a little bit no big deal so i'm going to cut it a little long and i'll plane it down to the 5 16 that he asked for got the wood dimension milled cut the templates So now they want us to bevel the ends 45 degrees, so I'm going to set this up for that. i got to take off my zero clearance. On this, so I figured I'd use my nice cross-cut sled here because I have very good control over the angles.
Okay, so let's take this chance to talk about angles. So I set my saw blade to 15 degrees. And the way to check that is with this. There we go. And then we can set it on the blade. And we're gonna subtract from 90. So we are looking for exactly 75 because 90 minus 15 is 75. And I don't do this for every cut, but if I want something to be extremely accurate, there's the way to do it. So I'm just lining this up by eye. I'll show you. What I'm basically doing is moving my fence over. Let's see if I get a better shot. Until it looks like the blade is going to touch that edge. That looks pretty good. And I'm using this piece of maple to try to keep that cut from sliding underneath. Block plane now. Take down this edge to that line. Okay, the wings are all sanded up and ready. The sharp edges are off. And now we're gonna come over here to the next step. We just did this. Okay, they want us to make the cockpit. So we need a seven eighth by two inch piece of quarter inch stock. So I have some quarter inch walnut that I milled right here. And we'll just cut that to two inches by seven eighths. I'm gonna bevel the edges the same way I did before with a block plane. And then I'm gonna use my Japanese pole saw, which you see in this picture also, to draw in the cockpit lines. And uh, we'll move on from there. So this is gonna be our cockpit. I'll set it up and we'll bevel it out. Let's see how that's working out. I'll show you the finished product. I thought I blew out the ends a couple times. So then I thought, why don't I cut one the opposite way so that the grains run in the other direction and I have less chance of blowing it out. So I did, and that worked out a lot better. Now I just need to cut the lines in it. So this is dry and I'm gonna plane it down just so it matches up perfectly. So I have it set up in my dogs here. And I'm just Got the cockpit ready, just needs to get cut. The wings are here, they go on at an angle. Uh, got the holes drilled in the back for where the dowel goes and a hole in the bottom so that you can put on a stick and fly it around. I'm gonna continue this tomorrow. I hope you're enjoying it so far.